Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here, and today is a special day for us, okay? Today's a special day on the channel. I've officially been coding for six months now. That's half a year. That's a long time, that's a lot of commitment. And uh, it's awesome, it's an awesome feeling, man. I can just like, because I've done this channel, I can see the progress from month one to month six. And it's amazing what you can get done in six months of effort, man. It is so crazy, so crazy. So before we start this video, I just wanna thank all you guys who've been rocking with me since the beginning, all you guys that are here now, and everybody that's jumping along and joining the journey. And I hope you guys are enjoying the content, cause I'm enjoying making it. And it's just, it's awesome to be able to see the progress with somebody else. So, also, on that note, we gotta start thinking of a name for the channel, because I can do the URL now, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. But six months ago from now, I thought I would be like, getting job ready by now. I thought I'd have like, a really good understanding of what was going on, and then I thought I'd be able to easily transition into like, a uh, junior developer role. Oh, yeah, right, dude. Maybe, maybe if I started like, uh, interview prep, a month ago and had stellar projects in my portfolio, but um, I don't, <laughs> and I didn't. So, like, when I think back to where I was six months ago when I made that, you know, that, that, that idea, when I put that idea in my head of transitioning in six months, I didn't have any idea what type of projects I wanted to build or display in my portfolio or even the kind of portfolio that I wanted to have in the first place. So I just fired from the hip, started doing the Odin project, started making, building my own projects and um, I learned a lot along the way. I built my own portfolio so like I understand what goes in it, what you look for and with each project I learned a little more and got a little smarter and I learned to look at other projects and other things that people have made and see what makes it stand out and make you go, oh, that's pretty cool. So now with all this time I've put in, I kind of know what I want to see in a portfolio. So I know what to put in mine. You know what I mean? So yeah, I wasn't a superstar that can make the transition in six months, but now I have a really good idea of how I want to proceed forward. So there's three projects I want to create before I start looking for a job as a junior dev. And uh, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what they are. <laughs> All right, but over the past month, I'm not gonna lie, I've had another video game bender. This one for about a week. One of my favorite games and time sinks came out, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Rise. And uh, me and my friends went hard on that. Like we got 100 hours in, in eight days, which is a little excessive, which is very excessive. If I put that 100 hours towards coding, I'd be a monster, but probably burnt out. So instead of burning out on coding, I burnt out on the video game, and now I'm like fully recharged and jumping back into things. So while I was on that bender, I still managed to code for about an hour a day, and I wrapped up the uh, photo tagging app for the Odin project. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real fast. All right, so here we have the photo tagging app, okay? And for this app, there's pictures that we have to find, like here. It says, uh, find the characters below to win. We have a link and a Pikachu, right? We hit start, boom. Now, our goal for this game is to find both Link and Pikachu. Here you have the timer going, timing how long it takes us. We can pause it if we need to, and then restart it. And we can also reset the game. So we're looking around. Now, obviously I built it, so I know where everybody is, so I could beat this game in about a second. But this worked on using um, Firebase as a backend as a service. And it was interesting. So I saved the character's positions within the div in Firebase, like under that character. So I made like characters in Firebase and then went in and put that position as a property of that character. So whenever we click on something, it searches our Firebase and sees if that mouse click is, I made a box, right? Like I made a box of coordinates and it checks to see if the mouse click is within that box of coordinates. If it matches that box of coordinates, then hey, you found that character. And Link and Pikachu both have their own box of coordinates. So let's see how it works. Uh, we click here, obviously nobody's here. We can select Link or Pikachu. I'll select Link, nothing, we didn't get them. So we're looking around, we're scouring, we're scouring the picture. This was a total nostalgia trip, by the way. Like just sitting here look, looking at all the characters and everything. Oh man, so much fun. I love One Piece, by the way, if you guys can't tell. Let me, let me, if there's any anime fans up there, I have like all their wanted posters above my scrolls. I don't know if you guys can see those or not up there. I'll maybe, let's see, let's see. If you guys wanna see the wanted posters, this one's for the anime lovers real fast. Just a, just a quick shortcut for you guys. Look at that, you ready? All their wanted posters are up there. The whole straw hats and everybody else. All right, back to the project though. So we're here, we're looking for the characters and 
We're scrolling, we got Cyclops, um, that dude from Street Fighter that does Muay Thai, The Thing, Bulma, Spider-Man, Spongebob, and there's Pikachu right next to Zoro. So we click on Pikachu, and when our little selector menu comes up here, we can close it, or we can click on Pikachu. And when we find Pikachu, oh shit. Oh shit. So we ran into a small error there. Apparently I had to update the security rules for Firebase because we weren't pulling the box from Firebase. So let's try that again. So, <laughs> when the game starts, here we are again. When the game starts, we click on start, okay? The timer is gonna start going. Once again, we have the pause, we have the reset. Now, when we scour this image here and find our little buddy Pikachu, who's right here next to Zoro, we click on the Pikachu picture. Now we can select whether it's Link or Pikachu. We know it's Pikachu. We'll click on Pikachu, boom, he gets grayed out if you found him right here. Then we scour the page and look for our boy Link. We got Goku, Superman, Scorpion, Mortal Kombat's coming out soon, y'all. Naruto, uh, Vegeta, Zangief, I always wanna call him Nappa. And we have Link right here, boom. So we have Link, we click on Link, Link's found, bow. We get a modal that pops up. So you guys say it, you say modal? Modal. Modal. I say modal. We get a pop-up window <laughs> that says game over. It took you however long. 0014. Oh, let's fix that. See, we found a typo there. Let's see here. Let's jump over to the code. Let me get the code on screen for you guys here so you can see problem solving in action. Now my camera's in the way like blocking everything, so I gotta I gotta look like a crazy person here for a second. We got game over. Uh, it took you time remaining. Find the time remaining. There it is. We have an extra A in there. I guess I was mashing the keys. So now we save that. We can move this out the way. And now if we refresh, we find Pikachu. We find Link. Boom. That took me zero. Let's do it again. I don't want to take zero seconds. That was a little too fast. So we'll give it some time. We're running, we're running. We got Link, boom, or we got Pikachu, and we got Link. It took us three seconds to find Link and Pikachu, great job. And you click play again, and the game simply restarts itself. So they wanted a little bit more, but I was ready to move on from this project. Like they wanted to make a scoreboard where you can type in your name and save it there, which I understand the basis of doing that. You just make an object and kind of push it into the Firebase and be able to pull that out and have a leaderboard. I skipped that, I was kind of over this, but <laughs> I moved on. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty fun. That was a fun project, really enjoyed it. And after that, that led me to the final project that I'm still currently working on. So the final project for the JavaScript portion of the Odin project is a social media clone. They want you to go through and pick either Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, whatever, your favorite social media. They want you to grab that and make a clone of it. So there's a ton that goes into a project like that. Um, and that means that there's a ton for me to learn. So, I came up with a basic idea of how I wanted to do it and a plan to fill those knowledge gaps. And um, during this planning process, I really did fall in love with coding all over again. Like, I started having an absolute blast. I decided to approach this project using Bootstrap for the first time. And, um, because I suck. I suck with media queries. I need more practice at them, and it's just one of those things I gotta work on, but I decided to go with Bootstrap so I can get it looking nice and just functioning the way I need it to function without messing around forever. So now I'm learning a new framework, Bootstrap. Um, I'm also learning Firebase. You know, I'm getting more familiar with it and using it as a backend as a service, and I'm setting up email and password authentication myself. So that's a whole lot of fun, man. Like going through and setting up the login and everything. Um, so I built this little mock social media project to practice on with Bootstrap, you know, setting up little inputs and logins and everything. And um, I can't stop, man. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to like working on this and trying to get it functioning. I just want to get this little test project to a level where I can log in, upload pictures, see the pictures, and add users to like a friends list. So that's my little side project I'm working on before I go full-blown into creating a social media clone. And um, 
Like, I've been reading the React Bootstrap and the Firebase source documentation before bed every night, and not only does it help you fall asleep, like, within 15 minutes, but you wake up having, like, ideas and just knowing things that you want to implement into your project the next morning. So, if you guys are having insomnia problems, hit up that source documentation. But I'm not going to show you guys that one just quite yet. Maybe when the um, little test project I'm working on is complete, I'll throw that into a video and kind of show you guys where I'm at now. Maybe do like a, a one month, a month one to month six comparison using that, because that's my like, that's my baby right now. I'm, I'm having so much fun working on that. But yeah, that's a video for another day. It's just crazy when I think back to how little I knew six months ago, like seeing where I'm at now and knowing where I was back then, I'm just amazed. And again, I'm so glad that you guys have been here you know, chugging along with me, watching the progress over the last few months with the videos. I know a lot of you guys are starting the Odin Project yourself and working through it and just grinding, you know? We're all grinding together. We're all moving forward together. And again, I'm very thankful for you guys being here supporting me. Believe it or not, you have picked me up and pushed me through a couple slumps. So I really appreciate all you guys leaving the supportive comments and showing some love. And uh, with that, hey, we're officially six months in, baby. Y'all have a good night, all right? Day, morning. Wherever you are. I just got off of work, so I'm tired, but I'm fired up because we're at six months still. I can't stop. Later, y'all.